Hey guys, it's Ignacio Dermar again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more videos. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos on Oculus Quest development. I want to show you how to bring in an asset from the Unity Asset Store, which is actually made from Synth Studio for prototyping. I really feel that this asset is really powerful for anybody that is trying to create an experience in VR and it's actually getting into VR from the very beginning. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. Hey guys, it's Gwen Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to continue and show you how to import an asset that I think is really helpful for anybody that wants to create a prototype by using the Oculus Quest device. So the asset that I that I have it's one from Synthes Studios, and it is called the Prototype Pack. So I'm gonna be putting the link in the description of this video so that you can download it if you if you like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I already downloaded it, and this is the folder folder that comes with it, and it has a Unity zip file that you can you can extract. It also has the source files and also an Unreal package if your game engine is Unreal. So I'm gonna just double click on Unity to open it up. And then it's gonna open up a folder and it's gonna have every single asset that is available in their project. So to be honest, this is a complete, a complete project. I don't want to open the project, I want to download the assets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the assets folder and then just drag and drop the assets from the folder that we extracted to the folder that I have in the Unity Oculus Quest Essentials. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna drag it and drop it. And it's gonna take some time to import because there's a lot of different assets that they provide. So I'll just continue on as soon as this is done. All right guys, so it looks like it's finished importing and downloading into my scene. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone the VR movement scene. And this is the one that we're gonna be using for prototyping. So I'm just gonna say prototyping and then double click it to open it. I'm also going to go to File, Build Settings, because we're going to be running this on a device. And then adding the scene that we just created. So it's going to say just add that scene, close out of this. All right, so now what I what I have right now is I have a VR player controller. This is the one that we've been using for most of our prototypes. And what I also want to do is just go ahead and play around with some of the assets that we have. So I'm going to leave some of these ones here, except the blocks are going to be the ones that I'm going to remove. Let's actually remove most of the blocks and then we can just leave the ground so that we have a reference of what we need to do. And then if we go into prefabs, you can see that we have, and I haven't looked at these, so I'm as new as you are in, in these prototypes. And you can probably see this one is just a building window. Let's go ahead and look at some more polygons. And for the most part, all of these ones are gonna be, you know, different parts of different buildings that we can add and we can just, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a couple of things around and then we can look at them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use their example because they have a pre-built scene and, and then we can just go ahead and build that scene and look and see how it looks on the device. So let's see, they also have characters that we can, that we can try. So there's a couple of characters in here that are prototypes. We can add a female and then there's another one there and then we also have one with a gun, which is a girl. And looks like they just have a variety of them. If we look at characters, there's some characters that we could probably animate. And they are, you know, using the L pose. And they, I probably, I don't know if they're rig already or not, but we can probably look into that later and seeing if we can, if we can, you know, actually animate these characters. Then also a couple of different effects explosions so we can add another you know a little glow here and they also have let's see some smoke so there's a lot of cool things so let's see and look at the vehicles so it looks like there's also a sport car here that we can use i can clone it and you can see how easy it is to just use some of these components that they have available for us i'm just going to clone that clone that and clone it there we go you can see how easy it is to add. And if you look at some of these boxes, looks like they have, this one is called the, the crate. We also have a crate with exclamation that we can add. 
And for the most part, most of these ones have a mesh collider, so they should work out of the box. Of course, some of these ones I would probably prefer doing and using a box collider, which is less you know, memory intensive. So let's look at some of the scenes that they already pre-built for us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and remove most of the stuff that we just added, because I wanna add some of the scenes that they have, which are more complete. So I'm gonna go into their demo, and their demo is, is pretty large, and I could probably just you know use a couple of the assets that they have and in some other demos i'm going to go ahead and so they have lighting they have an environment which is the entire thing and also a few icons so if i look at the icons that they have so you can see that i have a little disc here which is one of the icons we also have i think that's to resemble a coin bag also a little camera and a couple of you know signs which are really cool so I'm not going to be bringing those into the scene. I'm actually just going to be bringing in the environment. And that's really all we need. So I'm just going to copy this guy, the environment asset. And then we can go back into our scene, which is going to be the VR movement prototyping. I'm not going to change, save the changes that I did there. And then let's look at our content here. And I'm just going to paste everything that we have. And you can see that, you know, right off the bat, this is pretty, this is pretty busy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increment the size of our grid. And I want to leave it there because I want to use it as a reference to where we are. And we can probably just resize it a little bit more. Like let's go up. And I'm also going to resize it on the X axis. I think something like that works. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then if you notice, we have, I think that, I think that's fine. We could probably just go down further and let me make sure that these ones have they do have colliders so we should be okay with our our character controller so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into controller let's make sure that I can find the controller and we can probably just start right here so let me just see where we are I'm going to go ahead and start right here that way we can go to the pool we can look at the car we can go up the stairs and then you know we can look around and see how everything looks like so that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you as far as like the, you know, bringing in this asset. And I'm also gonna show you before we complete here. Let me go into the asset store and then show you where that is. So if we go into the asset store and you search for Sinti, I'm pretty sure that right off the bat, we're gonna be able to find them. So let me do that one more time. It looks like it's already searching. And if you look at, if we look for Proto, which I don't see in here, let me go into page two. They have a lot of assets. So, so here's the one that I'm using. It's the prototype pack. And if you want to download it, I'm going to be putting the link of this asset in the description, like I told you. And if you guys have any questions about what I just showed you, let me know. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to build these two device. So that's what I'm going to do now. Let's go ahead and get it built. And then I'm going to run it and I'm going to show you how it looks as soon as it finished building. All right, guys, so I finished building this and actually running it on my device, so I can show you the results here. I'm going to click on demo.mp4, and you can see that the logo is coming up. And in this one, I have the VR controller and also jump, jumping functionality. I need to improve the jumping because it's, it's just too strong. Also, the player controller is like quite, a, quite a bit big and doesn't fit through the door. But you can see how easy it is to build and bring assets from, you know, from the asset store into unity and then use them for the oculus quest development so that's honestly everything that i wanted to show you if you have any questions about anything that i did let me know in the comments and also be sure to check out the my patreon site where i'm basically putting information about upcoming videos and also early access source code thank you guys all right guys thank you much for watching this video today i really appreciate your time and if you have any questions about what i just showed you on Oculus Quest development, please let me know in the comments. Also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have amazing and great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much guys.